What's up guys, it's Crimson Cannabis here and today I'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about a dryer vaporizer and why they're the best thing ever invented. Now before we start that, I just want to say thank you guys. After my last video, I got so much positivity from it. I got four subscribers in one day, which from a little tiny small channel like mine, that's freaking amazing. So thank you guys for that and I appreciate everybody subscribing and like sending me some messages and saying, you know, hey, want to hear about this. So I really appreciate that. Let me know down in the comments for future video ideas because I want to know what you guys want to know and I'll make whatever you guys want me to make. So let's get into this video and first I'll go over exactly what a dry air vaporizer is and then talk about why you should own one and the benefits of owning one. So for anyone who doesn't know what a dryer vaporizer is, the name explains itself. It's a device where you put bud in it and it makes it into a vapor. I mean these are different from wax pens slash carts. They have like resin and oils in them. I'll make a video on them in the future if you guys want. But this device allows you to put ground up bud in it, set it to a certain temperature, and then you cook the flour by producing a vapor instead of a smoke. These devices can range from $50 to upwards of $500. I personally have the flour made v 5.0 s i believe it is and it's absolutely amazing it only cost me like 75 dollars but with devices like these uh there's so many positive aspects such as being able to cook your flour to a certain temperature look how i said cook and not burn i'll get into that later but being healthier for your lungs it's vapor instead of smoke and then having little to no odor being portable and then tens of thousands of other things but with most dryer vaporizers you can set it to a certain temperature that you want to cook it to and this allows for a more personal and customizable smoking experience i know of some people who complain about how smoking burns their throat and lungs and if they set their temperature low enough on these it doesn't burn at all since you're cooking your flour instead of burning it you could save the leftover golden colored bud and use it for cooking and making edibles like i've never personally done this but i know of a bunch of people who do and the number one advantage of dryer vape that made me buy one is it produces little to no odor. Since this is, isn't burning the bud, it's just making a vapor, the smell isn't strong at all and sometimes non-existent. This allows you to smoke inside even if you live with someone who doesn't want you to smoke and you can do it discreetly and if you want to smoke outside in public, I mean it has little to no odor so it won't bother anybody and you won't be smelling like absolutely loud. Most of these devices are as small or smaller than your phone, so portability isn't an issue and you can easily fit them in your pocket. Uh, they also hold a charge for a decent amount of time, so there's no need to charge after every smoke session. Now, if you're smoking like multiple times a day, you might need to charge it at night or like every other day. Also, if you're into the taste of your bud, then dryer vapes will be the best for you since they bring out the taste of the bud more than anything, since it's not burning it off. And for any of you that are looking out for your health, uh, since this produces vapor, it is a hell of a lot better for your lungs than regular smoking. I know this short summary about these dryer vapes and my shitty drones might not have taught you much, but there are thousands of websites that can tell you all about how exactly they work and like convection and conduction and exactly why it's supposed to do this and stuff like that. But I think for today's video, that'll do it and this gives you a basic overview, so it might sway you one way if you want one or not. But I just want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll make sure to get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and as always, peace!